All right, man. So, leading into the playoffs, right? Well, let me get Roy out of the way. Sorry. No, move. So, leading into the playoffs, you know, we're not going to make our predictions yet. We're just going to make – we're going to talk about our expectations because there's so much going on here in the playoffs, man. Does Brooklyn team who's only played eight games together. I think they've only played six games with uh, Kyrie, James, KD, and Joe Harris. Can they win the East? Will the process yeah. will the process work? Can LeBron and AD go back to back? Is Utah just let me just turn in the late night radio? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is it hot enough in Phoenix for the Suns to rise from the ashes? Let me know when you're done. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't think of them. Well, Luca. Carry the math to the promised land. Is this like your yeah. take on Rosillo's, like, uh, when he does those random, uh, like, no, uh, bro. That just, I just was, I was just trying to be dramatic and, and bring some spice to this thing. I don't know. But, uh, what are your, what, what do you guys expect to see from the playoffs? So what do we expect without our predictions? Without predictions. Just just just, just things you want to see without telling us like like if you're just looking at the matchups, man, like what are some things you're you're looking you're you're looking forward to, man? Okay. Um I am looking forward to Brooklyn and A just seeing if they can get all of their people out together. Uh, secretly hoping that you know they they do win it just to like you know blow every coach's mind that like oh your best players don't have to play together and like your, your rotation really doesn't matter because these guys played six games together. I just I think that would be hilarious uh, if that happened. It would just throw everything that we've ever thought out the window. Um, I could I could go for for Giannis finally breaking through. I think I'm ready for that. Um, I, I've, but we're coming up on year four of him just running into a wall in the playoffs. So I'm ready to see him like hopefully do some yeah. Hopefully, uh, ready to see some him do something different. Um, and my expectation for the West is I have none because I have no idea what's going to happen in the West. <laughs> I, I think you kind of wrapped uh, summed it up for for me, man. Like I'm I'm looking forward to Milwaukee. That's the team I'm really watching. Uh, the addition of J. Rue, um, I, I think that 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 moves the needle, and I think it moves the needle a lot more than people want to give it credit for. Because you look at Brooklyn, man, in Brooklyn they have a lot of offensive uh, firepower, but their defense is Swiss cheese, man. It's full of freaking holes. Shout out my guy Drew. <laughs> And, and as much as we 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 love KD, we love Kyrie, we 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 love James Harden, man. Let me tell you what, KD is the third option on that team, the the best third option in NBA history. But KD has a third option on that team, and y'all told me I was full of shit when I said it. Go look you at are, the, bro. I mean, it. Kyrie like... leads. Kyrie leads the team in shots, and James Harden is is the point guard. So he has like, the ball I, in this one first. KD I is agree, the third But it's only because KD is like literally fine with that. Like he's not like he's not really the third option. He's just like like fuck it. Like, yeah, I'll bro. Oh, I'll now, take I like the less shots. Like I've done it before. Like, you know, if, if there's somebody who knows how to like, you know, cut back, it's me. And like when that's I'm just saying, what type of player he is. When I'm saying KD's your third option, I'm saying you have the option of Halle Berry, Beyonce, and, and, yeah. and Kelly Rowland here. I'm, I'm not saying that, like, they're the drop-off from one to three. I'm just saying he's just the third option. Option, though, kind of just... I, that's by choice. Yeah, option's kind of like who you're looking for, whereas those two, like, both of them can bring the ball up. James Harden is the primary ball handler. They've said, like, you're the point guard. Those two dudes are going to have the ball just in their hands more. So it's not like you need to come down and then like KD is on a pin down, 
he's on that that block extended and you need to throw him the ball in there because I can just go get myself a bucket. So it's it's not an option as in like we're not we're not going to freeze you out. It's just like I can get my own. But if you need a play drawn up in the end of the game, like that's the person who you who I would draw the play up for. I just feel very comfortable with James and Kyrie doing it also. I don't know who they draw that play up for, and they don't know who they draw that play up for because they haven't played tight games together to figure out what works. It's like, oh, well, if he's hot, give it to him. Maybe. maybe. And that's why I, I like, I'm secretly hoping that it just goes well for them throughout the playoffs because like, I would just like to see that whole world turn outside. I hope they head. lose. I'm, I'm rooting against them because I don't need Steve Nash to come in uh, inexperienced as a coach and just get a fucking championship. I, I think that's going to that's going to be, um, I won't say bad for basketball, but it won't be the best for the basketball world because then some idiot billionaire is going to be like, oh, well, we can just get a Hall of Fame player and make him the coach and then we'll win, right? I hope they lose in the second round. I don't I don't want players bouncing around every year. like Because if they do this, then everyone's going to be like, well, we can just go play. No, because, bro, then every year players are going to bounce around because they're like, we can win next year. So I – I just want at least, bro, one year in between. So then it's still next some of like we need to get used to each other. Next, they're going to want the right to vote too, Eric. Here we go, bro. I still, yeah, but would you rather hear that or or a week on ESPN of like, you just need to play together. They didn't play together. They're going to say a bunch of stuff on there either there. way. I mean, I don't listen to ESPN. I mean, for God's sake, first take had a fucking topic asking should a fan get into the Hall of Fame? Like, those program directors suck. Sounds like you listen to uh, First Take and ESPN. Uh, it's called someone sent it to a group text, buddy. Can't can't confirm. You're I'm just saying, like, asshole. you can't really root for a team at that. It's hard to root for a team at that point, and then it's even hard to like. Then the players are just bouncing around too much. I, you know, bouncing I don't around, like. I don't. Know, I, I, I don't. I don't like chaos, like, like, and I, I just would. Like I need to structure, see, like, like that chaotic, like media cycle. You know, just like coaching, like everything that we've known, it's just like turned upside down. Like I just, I would find that hilarious. Personally. It, it it does make doing a podcast way easier when there's chaos. It's like, oh, I can prep for forty five minutes instead of prepping for hours. Got it? Because there's just so much shit going on. Um, and here's here's the thing, Joel, and and if LeBron was not in the league right now, I'd probably be rooting for Brooklyn too. Why? Because. I, I love James Harden. Left hands, left handers, we gotta stick together, baby. Uh, you know DB. Uh KD, I just love to watch him play basketball. It's just so beautiful to watch. Uh Kyrie, I mean, is anybody more just skilled with a basketball than Kyrie? Never. No. Um, and the and the thing is, right, although Kyrie loses me a lot with his ideology. Yeah. Uh, the fact that the NBA media has decided to team up against Kyrie and just paint him as like the worst person in the world. And, and they're almost putting him in shut up and dribble category because of the way that he goes about handling his business. I, I am rooting for him to give, be able to give them the middle finger be, because when he had the comment earlier this week, talking about how when ten, it's going to take 10, 20 years for people to really give us credit for what we did, what we built here in Brooklyn. And he was talking about, he, he said words to the effect of, he was like, what we're building on and off the court here. Like, this is a place, like, we've all been in different places and we've seen success, but this is a place that is allowing us to be ourselves both on and off the court. And I'm like, yes, Kyrie, I kind of like that. Because pretty much what you're saying is, you're allowed to burn sage in the darn arena because that's what, Let's you be you, you know, you're allowed to take your, your, your time off your sabbaticals because you're like, bro, my mentals aren't right. And I don't need to be here when my mentals aren't right. And that just goes counter to American culture, period. Yeah. And if he can successfully navigate that, because as much as LeBron fights, you know, cultural, social issues, he fights it in a mainstream way. With a typically with a widely accepted plan of attack towards it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kyrie is 
I want to walk around barefoot in baggy jeans with, with dirt in between my, you know what I mean? Like he, he's just different. And although it's not my style, it's not what I agree with necessarily. I like the fact that he is really actually trying to push back against the machine. And in order for people to take him and his message seriously, like the people who actually need to hear it and be enlightened and change the way they view our people, the way they talk about our people, he has to have that basketball success while practicing and being that way. Yeah. That's a good point. Mm, kind of lost me. Cause I, I see what you're saying. The thing with Kyrie is, and of course, like the three of us regular dudes don't have all the info. I'm all for mental health. Like, have people very close to me experience it and then it's just that simple to be like hey bro i ain't got it today it's like hey take all the time you need and we don't know what he said to the nets but it seems it was something to the tune of like he didn't say anything he just wasn't showing up if he told the nets like his teammates the organization like i need some time and i hope the nets would be like bro take it but the way it seems is that he just just up and leaves. And if that is the case, then like, I can't get down with that. You do still have a job and it's not even the job. Like you need to go make these people money. It's just like, you have obligations to, to your teammates and these dudes who like are your friends that came to the team for you. And if you say, Hey bro, I ain't got it today. Like my mentals are off. I need to go take care of them. They would be like, bro, do it, do what you got to do. We got you. But if he didn't do that, I can't get down with, with that. But he's slapping his dick on the table because he's like, what the fuck y'all going to do if I if I don't show up? And I'm not saying he needs to show up. I'm saying you could shoot a, hey, man, I ain't got it. And it's not like, hey, get your ass down here. It's like, a, thanks for letting us know. Now we know what's going on with you. Him why, not why, showing up, how do, we, how do we know he's not pulling a Dennis Rodman pardon in Vegas? What and what if he is pulling a Dennis Rodman pardon in Vegas? Like, what are you going to do? Like, Like, people who have power abuse it. And now he's just coming from a different place and he may be abusing his power. I'm not accusing him of doing that, but he has power. He has leverage. Why not use it when you can? So you're okay with him abusing power? I'm okay with Kyrie doing whatever the hell he wants to do and, and, and pushing back on, on social norms and, and the establishment. And I'm cool with that. I'm not cool with the way he's going about it, especially like mental health, something I take seriously. For the you to be like, oh, so you support? Oh, you come back House later Bill and you're like, one. I support what? Florida House Bill One. You you gonna tell me how I can protest? Uh, yeah, I, I think <laughs> I don't know how you got from point A to point B there, bro. <laughs> don't, I'm just don't, saying, don't entertain people me. people who do have <laughs> mental health issues are seriously like, I need some personal time, and people are telling them no. And if this guy, all, all I want is a, hey, my mentals are off, and then it's, bro, we got it. Like, go handle what you need to handle. But and then if he's not doing that and it's later, like my mentals are off, it's like, well, did, did you tell anyone so we could know that you were okay or where you were or why you didn't show up to do what, what you're if, supposed to be doing? Well, what if I'm in that dark place and, bro, I don't want to talk to anybody. Like, I don't want to deal with none of this shit. Like, bro, I just got to go in my hole. But it's still and, your job, though. Like, Yeah, I, I, and not even the job. Like, he needs to let the Nets know. Like, shoot KD a text, bro. He'll let, he'll let the people know if he's there. Like. That's what I'm saying. You can shoot. I you think, can shoot a hey, bro, I ain't got it. I think the first sabbatical, he like let the teammates know he just didn't communicate it to the organization. That I don't care about. He let someone in the organization know, so I'm cool. But well, I mean, we're talking a lot of hypotheticals here. Let's get to our playoff predictions. We still got to talk Hall of Fame. All right. So we're looking at the. Um, Let's start with the East, the Eastern Conference, okay? So in the one eight matchup, we don't know who it's going to be yet. We have. Um, Boston in the seven. So we have Washington playing against Indiana for the eight. Who we got there? Washington. Uh, I'm yeah, I'm going to go with Washington. I, I like their team better. Uh, That's a, But Indy looked yeah. good the other day, so I wouldn't be – that game's on now, right? Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So I will see, you know, like, like being uh, – living in the D.C. area, I got to – Bro, I, I miss California. The Zards. I, I really miss California for watching sports, bro. This, that's this, the hardest thing about moving from the West Coast to the East Coast is like, you know, like I said, I went to sleep yesterday halfway through the Lakers game because it was like 1130 at night. Yeah. And I had to be up. Was up at 14, by the way. I, I see. Yeah. I'm just resigning to the fact that I'm just going to like during during the playoffs, I'm just not going to sleep. Oh, I'll get plenty. 
Fuck you. Okay, so we think it looks like it looks like the Wizards are going to win this game. Um, so it doesn't just matter. Say, it's, uh, it's, yeah, right. I mean, so can we just Philly. say that we got Philly in the second round? Yeah, yeah, I think I think it'll be a good series though. Like, I'll Russell say Westbrook, the Wizards. It's like a four-two series. Brad Bill. I say five. I think it's a gentleman. I think it's five. Yep. I think Brad will have a he'll have a fifty-pointer. Um, and they'll just win, and then Russ will block Joel and beat down 20 and, like, yell into the stands, and everyone will laugh at him. Yeah, and there's going to be another game that's close where Joel and beat goes up for a shot, Russ blocks it, then passes an outlet to Beal, and then Beal goes up for a layup, and then Russ blocks him too. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to get a Russ interview. 4-5, um, uh, Atlanta, uh, New York. I, I look at New York, you know, they play hard. They 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 really match up well against the Hawks. If you go back and look at the season series, although it's hard to take those seriously with, like, who was out, who was there. Um, was it a back-to-back? I think back-to-backs matter a little bit more. And I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, hometown bias, Hawks. Yeah, hometown, I, going with the Hawks. I got Knicks in six. Knicks in six. To put your money where your mouth is and buy a grill? Next one. Just go to the next one. AB. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, 3-6 matchup. We have we have the rematch. It's the rematch! <laughs> so will Craig get Debo this time? Or will yeah, Debo think... avenge himself in the rematch? Milwaukee in six. They haven't been like shooting. Said, Miami yeah. hasn't been shooting the same as they were last year. Hero's taking a step back. Duncan Robinson, not the same Duncan Robinson. You, you know they said you couldn't trade Hero for James Harden, too, at the beginning of the season. Fucking idiots. I'm going to go. Shit. Like I said, I, I want Milwaukee to to take that step in Giannis in particular. You're just I'm tired of like the media like narrative and like I would at least like to see him make it to a Eastern Conference Finals if not the finals. So I'm gonna go with Milwaukee. I'll go six two. Um I like yeah. Milwaukee in six. Um then we have Brooklyn playing Boston. I have Boston I mean excuse me, I have uh, I have Brooklyn in two. <laughs> I got a gentleman's there also. <laughs> I'm yeah, not Brooklyn, giving you one. Yeah. 